In today's video, I would like to show you how to program on the embedded web server of a S7-1200 um, uh, web HMI using spider control showing an alarm list uh, or a historic trend functionality which will display historic recordings from the PLC. Uh, the context is we will have our spider control a 7 PC HMI editor tool which allows for creating HTML5 web HMIs which are then compiled using the Semantic TR portal um, which are compiled directly to the embedded web server and we are then able to use any standard HTML5 browser as a client or as a speciality of spider control we also offer um, our micro browser. The micro browser is, is an engine which um, is very efficient and scales down to small embedded industrial panels. Like that um, we are able to use one tool to do both web browser based web HMIs and panel programming. So uh, what we can see here um, is this alarm list which um, is uh, in, uh, programmed inside this HTML page and it um, addresses two 32-bit registers on the PLC. Um, every bit of this register will um, indicate uh, an alarm if the alarm is active or not and this control will display a corresponding text in this list and the number of um, uh, errors. When we look at the trend, um, this is done in a similar way. So on the PLC we'll have an array um, of values. So the PLC will have to record these values and uh, write it to an array and this control is able to read out this array and display it as a trend when you press this load button. Um, we have to uh, make sure that the data which is displayed here is not too big because the embedded web server on the S7 is not so performant. So more than 100 um, values um, are not recommended. We now have a look at the programming with our uh, spider control HMI editor. So in a previous video I already showed how to set up and program um, these things and we'll now go into uh, the details of our new controls. First um, we'll have a look at this alarm list. Uh, this object and many others um, can be found in our macro gallery um, which we can open here. So here we have a selection um, of many different um, macro controls like this burger menu and many other things. We'll now switch to the alarm list and enter this element by selecting it and uh, insert it. The configuration uh, will open this dialog and all I need to do is to indicate um, the two 32-bit uh, registers. So this can be any register uh, which you implemented um, on the PLC and the uh, data structure which is used in this example um, is shown here. So we have just an array of um, 100 elements which uh, contain um, integer or double values and um, we'll now just uh, select the first um, elements of this array to uh, be used as uh, alarm bit fields. When we now look at the alarm texts, uh, these texts can be defined in the language file. And this is a ZSV file um, where the first row will um, show um, a tag called alarm status list 0, 1, etc. And we just add uh, in the second row uh, the corresponding text which uh, we would like to show. 
We now switch over to uh, the oscilloscope, the trend macro, which can also be found in uh, this macro gallery. We select it the same way, open the dialog box and we see here the different um, parameters that we can define, like colors um, and here the number of points that we would like to display. And finally, um, a reference to the structure um, of, these, of the array where the values are entered. What we have to do is to use this um, specific text marker, which is shown here, to uh, indicate uh, the logic of, of our software where the index uh, can be found. So it will automatically insert here all the number of values which are used from 1 to 60 in this case. We can also uh, designate the axis, y and x axis, and here uh, we have the, uh, the minimum and the maximum um, range of uh, the values that uh, are found inside this array. Um, and this will um, yeah, define the uppermost and the lowermost uh, uh, range of uh, this display. We'll now uh, make a build all and a deploy. So this will generate the HTML5 and the JavaScript and everything which is needed. It will be sent uh, to a directory. And from this directory, we will uh, have to load them using the TR portal. So this is where uh, where the web server configuration is, uh, where we indicate exactly this directory and the HTML file which we have uh, created with our tool. Uh, you then will have to uh, compile um, this project and send it to the PLC and it's done. It will then be available on the embedded web server um, with the clients that we have presented before. So uh, we have it here in the standard browser as the HTML5 and here an example of a micro browser client. Uh, the advantage of the micro browser um, is this, that it is, uh, uh, has a much lower uh, memory and performance footprint and it allows to be uh, ported to industrial hardware which is very robust, very low cost um, and <clears throat> is therefore uh, much easier to handle and to afford uh, than a standard HTML5 browser client. So for uh, the tool uh, for the generation of the project it makes no difference whether you use it on a standard HTML5 client or you use it on a microbrowser. It will just support both.